Hi, this is John Birmingham, and Danica DiCosto is the mother of my children, Rowan and Ivan, and I also love baby Ayla. I love baby Ayla, their baby sister, and she's had no other father who wanted to be there for her besides me, and I was there since before Ayla was born talking to her while she was inside of Danica's tummy, inside of Danica's tummy. And I said, I love you, we love you. I made sure she heard me. And I've been willing to be there for her every day since before she was born, since she, the day she was born, since the entire time. I was there at the hospital when they called me at 2 a.m. Happy, more than happy to go to the hospital at 2 a.m. even though I had worked really hard at, at hard labor and home repair and real estate um, the day before and I literally slept in my clothes to save money on a he heating bill on the heating bill because I was working so hard to renovate this house and I hadn't quite gotten to sleep and they woke me up at 2 a.m. I was so happy and excited to go to the hospital and um, the guy who I don't know but um, never mind so the good thing is that I have a regular amount of work that I do that I've done since I was like 12 years old when you include school, you know, work hard at stuff. So I've been able to pay my bills somehow. It was never really a regular job. It was, it was not really a regular job. I've had regular jobs here and there. But that's not really what I was best at. But I did work, and I worked really hard. So I'm offering Danica. But see, she's had she's had the kids in Texas for four and a half years. She's she took them that have been growing up without me. It's been it's been really difficult. It's been really not you know not that good anymore for them to be there anymore. It's it's you know just because her parents are there. My parents are here, you know, Rowan and Ivan and the baby can go to my parents' house, the other grandparents, and, and I'm their father. I'm their real father. God wants children to be with their father. They're, they honor me. They, they honor me. They, they put God first. We all put God first, Jesus first. And after that, you honor your parents. And then when you get married one day, for those who get married, you leave your parents to be at one flesh with your wife. And, and you're at one. And then you put your wife or her husband first. Whoever, it's either a husband or a wife. And you get together and you're married. And you put that one another first. You look out for your children. Make sure they're okay. And, you, and after honoring one another, you honor your parents. You still honor your parents, but after your husband or wife. And God is always first. God is always first. Okay, here's the email. Here's the email that I sent Danica. I will give you a million dollars. We were right at an agreement where <clears throat> I give you a million dollars. Like you won the lottery. And I pay you every month as long as you live in Roanoke and L.A. with the kids. You know, sometimes in L.A., so I, if I really have to work there to make money, I can at movies and, and, and stuff like that. And let me see the kids whenever I want to and at my house and let me be there for Ayla too. A million dollars. Danica, I will pay you like you won the lottery. Okay? And I'd pay her you know, $2,400 a month. So is anything you can understand about being alive in anything and everything, understand that, you're, that following God and Jesus and doing God's work on earth is what it's really all about. And it's talked about in the New Testament. And I really found that. <clears throat> so I want to help Rowan, Ivan, Ayla, their mom, <clears throat> um, to find God and Jesus more than they've ever believed in God and Jesus. They already believe in God and Jesus, but I want them to believe more in God and Jesus and understand and read the Bible. And I want to help them
to be kind to others on earth and forgive others when they're mean to them. That's what Christianity is about, kindness to others, forgiving others. And I miss them, and I love them a lot, and more than a lot, a bunch, and, and to infinity forever and beyond. I love them, and I want them to be okay. They're my real family, and I want them to be okay on earth, too. And following God and Jesus is how you're how you're okay on earth too, and how you, how you're kind to others, and how other people are okay who you know, so you don't sin too much against them. <clears throat> when you sin, our sin is what causes our death. You know, be kind to others; that that'll help us be okay. The sin of others also can hurt people. That's that's what they did to Jesus when he didn't sin at all. But if you try to get them back for it, it's going to hurt you worse. It's going to make it worse. So better to be kind to others. So here's the thing. I'm offering Danica $1 million to come home. I'm offering Danica $1 million to come home to Roanoke, Roanoke, Virginia. To be where I can see the children anytime I miss them. And I can be around her and the kids, including Rowan, Ivan, Ayla, and, and her, to be around them. And so they're okay. Where my parents can see them. Where my dad can see my children. Where my dad can see my children. Where my mom can see my children. Where my mom can see my children. And... You know, there are other people here, my sisters, uh, other family and friends. There's fun stuff to do. We can make videos, films, music. <clears throat> we can play real music. We can, we can make videos. We can do films and be entertaining. And more than that, infinitely forever more, but literally forever in heaven together you know we hope we work at we work towards that by doing god's work on earth hopefully when god judges us because we don't know where we're going to go when we die and the real truth the real answers to all that are in the bible and the real truth is that god will judge us when we die we'll either go to heaven or hell and it's for all eternity after this life we'll die we'll likely die unless the second coming happens some of us will make it to when Jesus brings heaven to earth. We don't know when the second coming is going to be. It could, you know. So, we're kind to others. We do God's work. We do Jesus' work. <laughs> I'm trying to look cool. I'm trying to flex my muscles or something to look cool. I, I've been getting in shape. So, that's what we do. Let's see what this looks like. Yo! Flakes in my leg muscles. <laughs> so, that's what we do on earth is God's work. That's our real work. We have a job, though, that pays our bills. The man is supposed to work, and sometimes a woman, it's okay to work. And it talks about that in the Bible. So, I'm offering Danica $1 million. <coughs> <clears throat> excuse me for coughing after that hopefully to God I can give her one million dollars which I do not have in cash right now but I can work hard and pay her every month until it adds up to one million dollars <laughs> so I can pay her child support you know twenty four hundred dollars a month something like that to pay for her and the kids so she doesn't have to worry about will her videos be making enough money and stuff like that and she can be a good mother to our children <coughs> and I'll pay her $2,400 a month for however long it takes to add up to a million dollars and <coughs> that's it <coughs> excuse me for coughing coughing you don't want to die <coughs> Not in a coffin. Not coffin. When you're coffin, you're not in a coffin. Okay. Uh. So that's it. Okay. 
Bye. Click like in the video, subscribe. This is John Birmingham. You can check out more videos on my channel. I'll put a link here to videos about Rowan and Ivan and Ayla. I haven't filmed Ayla that much because Danica took the kids to Texas four and a half years ago. Or however long ago. You know, and I want them home. They're going to come home finally. They'll finally be home here in Roanoke. And I can pay her plenty of child support as long as I get to see them whenever I miss them, whenever I want to see them. Any any day of the week, any day of the weekend. And, you know, I've always been kind to them. I love them and want what's best for them. I wanted, I, 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 I didn't want, I didn't want to say wanted. That's an anxiety word. Wanted, dead or alive. <laughs> I guess they want to take, take your kids away from you. It's, the, it's a word of the devil trying to say bad stuff trying to make people feel bad the sin that goes along the the suffering and the bad feeling that goes along with the sin it comes from sin somehow Ooh. praise jesus actually protect us god protect us from evil god protect us from evil jesus jesus and in heaven there's no suffering there's nothing bad there's no bad feeling everything's good everything's happy Everything's good again, and it'll never be bad again because there's no sin. All the sin will be destroyed in the lake of fire. <clears throat> That'll be hell on Judgment Day in the future when Jesus judges us. And there, everyone else will be in heaven on earth. Heaven will be brought to earth and be beautiful and peaceful. No evil, no sin on earth. And it'll last a thousand years, and then forever in heaven will be. It will go to heaven again. I think. I think it goes back to heaven. Then we all go to heaven again after that. The ones of us who are kind to others, and you can be kind to yourself too. You might have to work hard at like wanting to look better or get the things you want. But our plan is different from what God. Our plan is different from what God made. Well, well, what God, it may be different from what God has planned for us. It may be the same. When we really follow the Bible and we're good, you know, what we work at on earth often is God's work, sometimes our careers. But don't push your career too much when you get older, if you're a kid, or for those of you who are, are, are already grown up, um, whoever's watching this, don't sin too much to get to those earthly goals that we think that are more like the sin of the earth type of things and aren't as important. Follow God and Jesus. That's what it's really all about. That means kindness to others, forgiving others when they're mean to you. Feeling sorry about the bad that you did. Um, other ways of being kind. And it talks about it in the Bible. And there are other ways to be kind. It talks all about it in the Bible. <clears throat> Mostly kindness to others and forgiving others when they trespass against you. When they're mean against you. <clears throat> and feeling sorry and suffering for the bad that we did before. But... <clears throat> Yeah, there's no buts about it. That's it. That's all of it. Uh, being kind to others, forgiving others when they're mean to you, and suffering, suffering, and feeling bad or sad about the wrong things that we did, and not wanting to do it ever again, or not wanting to do it again, and being as kind as we can to others and good. And then we get to feel happy about ourselves. <laughs> do unto others as you would do unto yourself. So it's okay to be kind to yourself too. But it's not about serving yourself in a selfish way. That's what the devil does. He only served himself. He didn't care about anyone else. That's why that's, that's bad if you do too much of that. You know, I'm not perfect either. I'm a sinner. I'm flawed. <clears throat> I mess up. I like to feel happy too. And I work on things that make me feel happy. <laughs> Um, and, uh, then I continue being kind to others. I'm as kind as I can to others. And I work at the things that I want to do on earth. And that's, that's how I am. Okay. 
Bye. Okay, Danica. You won the lottery. You won the real lottery. One million dollars. You won the lottery. All you have to do is bring the kids home uh, to, to, to be with me and around me and... And that's it. And and you know, I'll we'll 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 sign something on paper that says you get a million dollars and you just let me be around you and the kids. The kids mostly. If if you don't want to be around me, or you can be around me. If you want, we can get married again. We'll be married or, or if we're not married. I think we're already married in God's eyes. Me and Danica, I think in God's eyes are already married. I don't know. I have to look at the Bible and see. I've been looking at I've been trying to understand that. Okay. Bye. Dear God and Jesus, be with us on earth to do your work on earth. To do your work on earth. Amen. To do your work on earth. Amen. Please forgive me for my sins. Forgive us for the wrong that we did, the bad, bad that we did. Please help us do God's work on earth and be okay on earth and be kind to others and go through whatever we're supposed to go through. Amen. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay. Bye. That's about it. And I'm going to play just a really quick song. You're going to be a star, a rock star. You're going to not go way too far. You're going to stay at home with God and Jesus. Whether or not you're alone, you're gonna eat your cheeses from your freezers and freezes and things that happen to you when you go outside are not gonna stop you. You're gonna keep really warm and do what you have to do. You're gonna shoo away the bad and wear good shoes that are so rad. You're gonna be a rock star. right it's okay to be a rock star for you and for me it's true i think maybe it's okay but we have to do it god's way to make sure that's okay and either way we'll get to sing and dance and perform and prance around and even through a really bad storm we'll be okay it's true because we have god and jesus and they're for you they're for you it's true, you'll be a rock star. Okay.